Hi there. So I decided to make something really easy and quick in this video. It's a Dwarven house, basically made completely out of uh, insulation foam. And I actually plan to give away this build afterwards. So uh, at some point in the video, I will let you know how you can uh, get this Dwarven house for free. Stay tuned. So I'm using my dwarf droid here for scale. So I'm guessing about maybe a two inch tall walls would be a good dwarf house size. I like using a uh, adult pencil. Yeah, this one was horrible. So this is going to be the back part. No one needs to see this wall. So I fashioned this out of the top of a tuna can to make it some sort of a hot iron stamp. It was actually harder than I thought it would be, but it works pretty well. Picked a good scented candle to fight that uh, burning insulation foam smell. Alright, I'm saving these pieces for later. You'll see for what. It's looking like just a big square right now, so I'll see what I can do. Some more pieces to save to use for later. So I'm making this a little bit more angular, adding more posts to make it look less plain. Of course, got to add some texture to it, some uh, lines, kind of grooves to make it look more used up and look more like stone. And I'm also going to add a, a stone door frame to make the doors look more imposing. Because if we didn't learn anything from Lord of the Rings, dwarven doors are very imposing.
once again more angles more embellishments just to make it look less boring So I'm just making the basic frame of the roof that can detach on and off from the main structure of the house. Just performing a basic levitation trick. Nothing special. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Yeah, this looks really wonky, but hopefully um, the foam can cover all this mess up. So I'm making some shingles by cutting really thin pieces of uh, foam and then just making them into small pieces. I really enjoy using this knife, by the way. Put some cracks on it. Um, yeah, this was such a bad angle considering all you see is my wrist. Um, so I'm probably just going to speed this up and never use this angle ever again. Scratching it up to make it look more worn out. So these are the scrap pieces from uh, the window that I cut out or burnt out I should say. I'm going to use it as a uh, decorative pieces for the house itself and it also serves as a holding place for the roof when you take it on and off. You can see that I trim it, I take the middle part, that way the big part at the end and the small part at the other end kind of have that nice space in between so it's a little bit more decorative. So I'm using the scrap pieces that I cut off earlier from uh, the corners of the wall to make it some sort of canopy overhang for the door. Well, here's my uh, dwarf house so far. It took about 44 minutes just to get to this point. It's all foam and it was really fun to build. So far, so good. And here it is so far. It's just a matter of basing it and then painting and it should be good to go. I like using two cardboard pieces for a base. That way it's not as bendy and it's more stable. I totally forgot that I was going to put this in uh, as the flooring, so I probably should have cut it to fit before I glued it on, but eh, I think I have a pretty good idea on how much I need. Before I got too far ahead of myself, I wanted to put some of these uh, pearl stickers as metal studs. I mean, to make it more dwarven, to make it more 
forge like so I decided to make this giveaway very easy so essentially whoever comments will qualify to win the dwarven house um, basically all the commenters his names will be put in a hat and I will summon my mage hand to draw the winner So now I'm gonna flock the base and first off I really like putting texture on the uh, the base and I do that using uh, recycled grit from hand warmers those disposable hand warmers that you use you shake it up and some sort of chemical reaction happens and it gets warm I save that sandy grit inside and I like So I also like sealing the edges of this corrugated foam with the same grit to make it look less cardboardish and uh, make it a bit stronger also. So just a lot of glue and press against that mound of grit that you have. And there you go. So now it's a big saggy mess and the problem with that is sometimes the cardboard starts warping upwards because uh, the outside tends to dry faster than the inside. So to prevent that I like to put it on top of something narrower that way gravity can uh, make the, uh, the warping go downwards instead of up. And here it is, it's my uh, Dwarven house made from uh, insulation foam, it's totally modular and I can't wait to give this away.